relaxed right now. This is a beautiful area of Colombia. We have the ocean over there, mountains over here, and jungle all around. But now I'm really, really happy to be on my own again. I really have that free spirit that gets recharged from the challenge of getting place to place on my own and just doing whatever I want, whenever I want. And just having me time as well. As a solo traveler, I have discovered how to be quite comfortable by myself and on my own. Enjoying breakfast with a view. Oh, you can't see it. I'm trying and failing at trying to get a bus to Burataka where I have to go to my next hostel, El Rio. This is really difficult. Apparently you just have to wave it down, but I don't know the little tricks about doing that as a foreigner, so you have to wave it down from the road. There is no bus stop. Let's see how this goes. Hello everyone, I made it to El Rio. I just wanted to touch a bit about um, taking the bus here because it was a bit of a challenge at first to get used to it. After I left the hostel I stayed at last night, I basically had to just problem solve because nobody at the reception there was very helpful. I ended up figuring out that you have to flag the bus, Collectivo bus, it's like a green and white style bus, and you basically have to flag it down on the side of the road and then you tell the driver where you're going. And he took my baggage and stowed it under the bus. So it was like a 3,000 peso bus journey just down the road from close to Tayrona Park all the way down here to uh, Buracata which is where El Rio Hostel is located right on the river. So after the bus I hopped directly on a moto taxi because it's like a 15 minute walk down a dirt kind of rocky steep sandy road and so literally the moto taxi I put my suitcase on the handlebars balanced it took this moto taxi ride down this windy ass back road and I was like wow is this real life and then immediately stored my luggage and did a tubing down the river the Burakata River is just absolutely stunning and it's just a really really nice place I'm kind of gutted that I only have one night stay but it's high season the word of mouth for this place is really strong there was barely any accommodation available so I was lucky to get at least this one night. One night here in El Rio and then I'm taking another bus down the road that way to Palomino for two nights and then after that my trip is almost over I have to make my way back to Cartagena. I just wanted to say don't be afraid of the adventure you know it is a little bit nerve-wracking as a solo woman traveling alone to take the bus but it really wasn't that hard and it turned out to be really inexpensive to do it that way and I was fine on my own on the bus. Don't be afraid of the challenge hopefully most of the time it will work out you'll be happy and proud of yourself that you accomplished it because maybe it wasn't the easiest thing you could have done but you accepted the challenge and it worked out so that's my little message for you today and I'm gonna enjoy my relaxing afternoon after a couple hours of tubing we had to like hike up this hill and then tube down the river and it was a bit of a learning curve to figure out how the heck you can steer yourself on this inner tube tubing in Colombia Oh my gosh. Ah! Ow! <laughs> Every time I had a damn rock on my ass. No one teaches you how to steer this thing. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. So I'm excited to be here for one night.
so I've been in Palomino for yesterday and today and it's a really quaint, quiet beach town. You can walk the main road in like 10 minutes. The main attraction being the beach and the Palomino River that you can tube down. I skipped the tubing here because I did tubing in El Rio, which was in another town, Burataca. But yeah, I've just been really relaxing here. There's not much to do, to be honest, so you're just basically completely relaxing. But the interesting thing is where the Palomino River meets the sea and there's a really cool spot there that I went to today that was really nice. Today's my last day here. I am leaving in the morning back to Cartagena. Cartagena for one night and then back home. It's been really nice here and I really like Palomino. It's like go slow island life but it's not really an island. If you're ever in this area I recommend Palomino for sure. And just a tip that there are no ATMs here so if you need to take out money make sure you do it before you get here because it is a very bare bones kind of town. I'm heading back to Cartagena today. I have a shuttle booked and it's gonna take me like five, six hours to get back. I have a direct shuttle at least. Palomino is great, but my adventure has come to an end. Christmas. It's a beautiful city right now. It's calm, sunset. It's just really, really nice. 